Maritime Made is presented by Nova Scotia Business Inc. Helping to educate, inform, and celebrate our region's manufacturing successes. Because great things are happening in all of our communities. At Matatal Signs in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, you'll find a skillful team of sign makers ready to tackle any signage challenge, big or small. Every sign begins with design artwork, then CAD drawings are made. Each sign has a set of production worksheets that include all mechanical and build specifications. To begin making an illuminated exterior sign, polycarbonate roll stock is cut on a CNC machine. This will be the face or the front of the sign. The CNC table uses vacuum suction to hold the material in place while the bit moves into position and begins precision computer programmed cutting. An air supply blows shavings out of the way to keep a clean cut line. Now the back of the sign is cut. When finished, the shavings are cleaned up and the piece is released from the protective coating. After using air to clean off the surface, the sign technician cleans up the cut edge. Using a deburring tool, he carefully works all the way around the material. Then the packing film is removed from the back. On the front of the sign, the protective plastic covering is removed and soapy water is used to clean the surface. Vinyl artwork has been cut for the face of the sign. It's sprayed down with soapy water. The soapy water gives the sign maker more flexibility when trying to perfectly position the vinyl graphic. Next, a small squeegee is used to carefully remove any air pockets taking care to adhere the vinyl to the sign. Now using more pressure, he works to ensure the bond is made. There can be no bubbles between the vinyl and the sign material. Bubbles would appear as dark spots when the sign is illuminated. After sitting for a few minutes, the masking is slowly removed to reveal the graphic. The bond is checked and touched up where needed. Once the white graphic is set, the sign maker begins the same process with the color vinyl elements of the design. Cleaning the surface, carefully positioning the graphic in place, checking alignment, ensuring the bond. Gradually, all the colors in the design are in place and looking good. Vinyl signs made this way last for at least 10 years. This will be a dimensional sign, and a frame or return will provide the depth. A machine called an AccuBend bends the frame into shape. A sign technician loads the digital design file into the bender program and checks the bend points. As aluminum coil is fed into the machine, it moves along a series of rollers. The bottom is notched with triangular metal punches. A bending arm moves into position and bends the aluminum to create the shape of the design. The aluminum used is light and durable and well suited for an exterior sign that will hold up to an Atlantic Canadian winter. Once finished on the bender, it's time to attach the frame to the back of the sign. This is no small task and must be done skillfully by hand. The frame is laid out loosely around the back of the sign. Using rivets, he begins to assemble the sign, attaching the frame or return to the back of the sign. The notched aluminum is hammered and riveted in place all around the sign for a firm fit. This is a time-consuming process, working inch by inch around the frame. Once fully attached to the back, the shape of the frame is carefully checked and formed further by hand, ensuring the open end of the frame will line up with the face of the sign. Next, LED light components are laid out to match the CAD drawing. 
This sign will have 58 lights. Double-sided tape secures each light in place. The wires between the lights are tidied up with a twist. These are 12 volt lights and have a warranty of seven years. The lights are connected to a power supply and tested. After testing, the lights are siliconed in place. Now it's time to continue work on the face or front of the sign. The sign maker works to shape a plastic aluminum trim. Strong magnets hold the trim in place while he continues working all the way around. A good fit is essential, and when it's ready, it's time for the glue application. First, a thin resin glue is quickly applied. Then a thick weld-on glue finishes the job. The goal of the glue is to ensure a sturdy and complete attachment between the trim and the face. After drying, the magnets are removed and the face of the sign is fitted over the finished frame. The back of the sign is 3 16th smaller than the front, so it fits tightly over the frame. It's a good fit, and this sign is ready to be mounted. Many different types of signage are made at Manitol Signs. This large sign, 10 feet in diameter, is called a flex face cabinet sign. The metal worker cut, shaped, riveted, and welded the raw extruded aluminum to make this sign. Now the case is being populated with LED modules. This beautiful artwork is being printed on 73 feet of vinyl to cover a boat. This vinyl was printed earlier and is now being cut on the plotter or vinyl cutting machine at a speed of 28 inches per second. When this design is printed, the pattern is overprinted to ensure good coverage. The plotter scores the vinyl to the finished design specs and team members manually remove the extra vinyl to reveal the design. This process is called weeding and can only be done by hand. Here a design file is uploaded to the laser cutter. Brushed chrome vinyl and a protective coating have been placed on the acrylic sign material. The laser cutter works on an XY axis and is used for cutting and engraving acrylic wood, metal, and many other materials. It's accurate to one hundredth of a millimeter. After about 15 minutes, the cutting is complete. The excess acrylic is lifted away to reveal the signage. Once the protective coating is removed, the sign will be mounted on an interior wall with double-sided tape. On the flatbed printer, UV lamps dry the ink immediately as the printer heads move back and forth across this large format sign. 